I'm Bert K6OQK. I'm the licensee of WR6ABE. Take just a few minutes here to give you a little bit of a tour on the repeater that is located up at Mount Wilson and then the control facilities, the control station that's located here at my home in Woodland Hills. Well, now we're out here in the backyard and out there is the San Fernando Valley. And out there is Mount Wilson. Now wait a minute. There, where is it? It's out there. It was there this morning. I saw it. But anyway, we're, like I say, about 1,400 feet up here, and it's a real neat ham site, I tell you. And uh, you can see about 60 miles from here, 50 to 60 miles on a real clear day. Um, behind me is the microwave antenna. Come on over here. Okay. As you can see, there's the microwave antenna. This is the one that was donated by the Telephone Amateur Radio Club. And the feed for the antenna was donated by one of the local TV stations. And the six-foot dish was also donated. The uh, thing is up just well, as you can see, about 10 feet. That's enough to walk under without uh, clanging your head into it. You should see it from the neighbor's house. But he wouldn't dare complain about it. You see that thing over there? The other night, that thing was shaking and glowing blue. It was shaking, and there was no wind. The brackets on the back that hold the thing to the tower were made, this part was made by Paul, K6INQ, and this is a copy of the RCA ones, which uh, were not to be found anymore, so we had to refabricate those uh, with the help of KHJ, who loaned us one to use as a model. And the other brackets we made up here, and with a LW6ILL power saw. But these four bolts right here, there's four of them, two on the bottom and two on the top, that are used for steering the antenna. When the tower was put in, it was put in pretty much to line up with Wilson in the horizontal plane, of course. But uh, they do allow some steering of the antenna. These antennas are used for the uh, frequency measurement stuff that we do in the house and also monitor antennas for the repeater and some of uh, the old uh, 450 control circuitry. And now by the magic of microwave we take you to Mount Wilson. I'm Bert, K6OQK, and this thing here is the WR6ABE repeater. The uh, new solid state receiver is up at the top and then the FM volume max and the auto max and all the audio switching the uh, remote control system is the are these two panels here the voice ID and some of the uh, automatic switching and the logic are down here and the microwave uh, 6KMC the system is here which it feeds the Mosley and the main transmitter and the auxiliary transmitter hello? hello there um, and this is a uh, picture, I don't know if you can see that, uh, coming up from uh, down below. The picture of the Cookie Monster. This is the main transmitter, which runs approximately 40 watts to the uh, output. Anyway, it gives us an ERP of 100 watts. And this one up here is the auxiliary transmitter, which runs 5 watts. And uh, it, it, like I say, it's an auxiliary transmitter for backup purposes. Up, up on the top here is the duplexer and the seventh cavity put in for the receiver just for the sake of uh, good luck in keeping the bad omens away. This is WB6 QFR, uh, portable six, I think. And this is WR6ABE, the, uh, the master control station here. Now uh, behind you, you can see all the goodies. Uh, volume X, repeater control, microwave, link, IDEAR, and the whole smear. Uh, what else would you like me to say? Smile. Oh, smile. Yes. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's looking at the transmitter. I don't know which transmitter. Right. I don't. I don't know which transmitter I'm looking at. One of nothing. I well, I could crank more, but I'm afraid I'd break it. If I haven't already. <laughs>